Hello everyone, this is Nidhi here. In this video, we will publish the Docker image to Docker Hub using Jenkins pipeline. As you can see in this diagram, we are using GitHub repo where our code will be present. Jenkins will put will pull the code from GitHub and then it will build and tag your image and at last at the third step it will publish it to the Docker Hub. So let's see how we can do that. So there are some prerequests for that. You should have Jenkins. There should be SSH setup between your Jenkins and the remote servers if you want to run that Docker image to your production servers. And Docker should be installed on your server like the Jenkins servers or the agents so that it can run the Docker commands. And the important thing is you need Docker pipeline plugin and you need to configure the Jenkins credentials for your Docker Hub account so that you can use it in your Jenkins pipeline job. So let's start with the fifth step, the Docker pipeline plugin. So this is my Jenkins that I am using. So let me go to there how to install any plugins. You will go to manage Jenkins. You'll go to manage plugins. And in general, you would be seeing all the available plugins here. But as I have already installed, it would be showing like here. So I have installed the Docker pipeline plugin as you can see. So you need that. The next step is you need to configure the credentials. So for that, you will go to manage credentials like that. And then you click on this global. As you can see, you can add the new credentials. This is the username and password. So you will use username and password. You will put your Docker Hub username and the password and you can use any ID. That ID we will be using in our Jenkins file and you can provide the description. So as I have already provided, I can show you. So this is my Docker Hub. So you can see I have provided my username and this is the password and this is the ID for my credentials. So we did the prerequest for this. Now let's start creating a Jenkins pipeline job for that. So this is my Git repo that you can see. This is a Docker sample app. So what we will be, this is sample just, this is just a sample applications to build a Nginx server, okay? So to run a Nginx server basically. So this is my Docker file. I can show you. We are just running the Nginx server. So it's just an index.html that you can see. Once we will run the image. And this is our Jenkins file. So we need to build our Jenkins file for that. So first step is you have to do the build and tag. So for that, this is the command docker build hyphen T. There you can put your name like your uh, image name, whatever you want to put. And here is the version. So right now I am using the latest one. So you can you can put anything, whatever you want to. After build, you need to tag your image. Make sure when you are tagging, this complete repository name is required. If you don't put your complete repository name, it will fail. It won't be able to run it when you are actually publishing it while tagging it will not create any issue but when you publish the image then it will create a problem and then you can also use the build number so this is the build number of your jenkins job if you want to have different tags according to the jenkins build number you can do that also so this is the first step that we have to use the you have to first do the build and tag so after this now our image is ready. Now we have to publish it so that everyone can use it. So this is the this is the command for that with Docker registry and this is the credential ID. So this is what I have configured in my Jenkins job. So you also have to configure it and URL you have to put it is blank. As per this credentials, it will automatically fetch the URL of your Docker Hub account. And in this, this is the normal command you are pushing it. So here you can see actually just to show you, I am pushing it as the latest one and I am pushing the build number also. So this is what we have published it to Docker Hub and by default it is public so anyone can use it. Next step is you have to run it. If you want to run it, this is normal command to run it. Docker run hyphen D. It means it's in, it is it will be running in the detached mode and the port. It means that it is running uh, the Docker container is running in under port 80 
and you are doing the port forwarding so that from the ec2 instance if you will access the ip and call on this port number you should be able to access the nginx server and here you have provided the you have provided your image if you will not provide any version it will automatically take the latest version and if you can provide the tag name then uh, uh, with colon you can provide whatever tag you wanted to use so this is the command to run it directly on the jenkins agent and this is command if you want to run it on the remote host basically actually on your actual production server so there it is required that ssh setup should be there with the user and this would be the ip and uh, this is normal commands that you wanted to run and which port you want to open okay and as i have already showed that you have this repo that you can directly clone it and try to run it so let me now just show you that i have created the job for this so this is my job docker build publish deploy so here you can see that i have not done anything i have just click on build now just to save some time i'll just show you the output so you as you can see this is the command to build it it is building the image and after that it is tagging my image for the latest and this is my build number of jenkins like this okay and then you are doing the docker login login succeeded and after that you are pushing it with that command so you can see that it pushed this latest version and then it pushed the build number and at the end it just run this command so here you can see this container is running and here this container is running and if you want to see it you can see this is my ip and this is uh, my port number and this is as i said this is just a sample so you can see hello docker this is being served from a docker container running nginx so this is how you can actually publish your image to the docker hub and this is how your jenkins pipeline will look like if you will create it in the stages like you can see docker build and tag publish image and then run your docker container right i have put some troubleshooting comments also like sometimes you can see this error unable to prepare context unable to evaluate sim links so this error comes when your docker file is not present right or if you have put docker file dot txt in general if your jenkins is not able to find the docker file then you will be seeing this error i mean when you get this error it's difficult to find out so that's why i have put it as a part of the troubleshooting and this error with docker registry among steps no such so if you will not install your pipeline plugin then you will see this error so that's why i have put it as the docker under docker troubleshooting and there are some commands that you can use it to stop the container remove the container or kill the container if required so docker rm and this is the command that you can use it so that it will take all the containers the stop containers and the run containers you can remove it you can stop it and you can kill it but before you even do the remove or kill containers need to be stopped then only you can do that okay thank you